so far we have written the code to have a default seeder which adds certain reminders to our leads for example this lead has two reminders and the second one doesn't have any reminder and then we created that button which allows us to add a reminder however we have not stored that reminder data in our database yet and that's what we are going to do today in this video so this is my component lead reminder add the form is you now getting submitted and the handle submitted handle submit doesn't have anything yet so let's see lead add has this code right response await this inertia post so we will steal that add in here we have to create a new route leads view reminder slash save okay this is going to be our url we will name it reminder dot save and we'll use the reminder controller and we will have a store method for it so inside our controller we'll first have our request object which we need to validate now we are looking at three things here so post data this validate dollar request what are the rules first thing is we need the reminder okay this is the text so required minimum three okay then we need the reminder date without that nothing makes sense so required and it should be a date the last thing is we need the lead id okay we need to reference it so this is required it should exist um, it exists in the database which is the leads table and the column is id okay once we have this this is our post data we need to populate our user id because if you remember we do have a column where we are storing who created that reminder so that is done okay uh, sorry user id equals this and whenever a reminder is created right we can safely assume that the status will be pending because otherwise why will we uh, you know create that okay um, my node app is squawking for some reason i need to check okay it says await outside an async function mm okay so this will be route reminder dot save okay and we don't need the response so why do we need to share it i mean save it in a uh, variable we need to define our post data so post data will be equal to we have three things reminder reminder date and lead id we need to populate all of these so reminder right as you can see we have reminder dot reminder so we will do that so this dot reminder dot reminder and we reminder underscore date and we are getting the lead object as a prop so we can do this dot lead dot id okay and we will send that as the post data so on form submit we are calling handle submit okay and that is sending a post data to this url reminder save 
that is something we defined just now and we are sending post data which has reminder reminder date and lead id now we go to our controller we are populating our post data array which has reminder based on validation it is required minimum three reminder date lead id and we have post uh, user id at the status so once this is done right why don't we use our um, relationship to get the lead and then create a reminder for it the reason is once this is stored i mean uh, once this is created this reminder is created i need to redirect to the lead view okay the page where the lead data is there and the new reminder will be on top for that i need the lead uh, lead id right lead view if you remember needs the lead model right so instead of querying it uh, just like that what we will do is lead equals lead dot find we have that in our post data because we have done an exist so validation once this is done we are sure that the lead does exist so lead now we have reminders as a relation if you know you remember lead view this is lead view sorry lead.php we have reminders as a relationship right so leads reminders create we send the post data this should give us a new reminder and we have the lead object so once that is done return redirect route lead view and we pass dollar lead this should handle the situation where on save of the form this form right we are redirected to the lead view so let's just refresh everything um, adding a new reminder first gen hit save and we have adding new reminder so this works now the only thing which we need to handle is the validation let's just say for add new reminder i don't put anything it should give me error messages so let's see i think we have done that in lead add um no mm, hold on so we need to show the errors and what happens is we get dollar page errors because of let me see um no let's look at the inertia documentation once there is validation which we can do and then so we have forms this is done server side validation so this is something which we add in our app service provider so why don't we copy this i don't think we have this share flash this is flash this is something else so inside our boot method session is already there right yes it's already used so we don't have a problem there so this is done and then what they say is dollar page errors is something which we will get inside the component so let's look at what we have pasted instead of lead add right now we will look at oopsie thought I copied that anyways um, add this here 
field name we will get is okay, what is happening again I pasted it in my lead add form I need it here so this should be reminder okay so we if and let's have class as well of error and we will later on have some red color there just for the sake of understanding so now refresh and we see this so the reminder field is required that's what we wanted app.scss we will have error color should be red font size is 0. Point, let's say 8 em it's getting compiled and let's check yep this is fine so we have validation in place i need to go into this form this will be date rather reminder date so copy this copy this paste it in here fresh so if we try to do an empty form submit it will give us an validation error and if i fill it properly so i need to call this customer tomorrow and we put the date hit save we have this stitched our Vue.js form with uh, Laravel so it is creating the reminders and we are redirected to this lead view uh, page with the reminder being shown there now we need to subsequently work on the view of that reminder and things like that so yeah let's uh, look at that in the next video